Hey guys, welcome back to Lexi Crafts. Today we are making another crafter, but I promise it's different than the first one. Um, so we're going back to Kibble's crafting guide. And uh, again, this is a 5e supplement. Your DM has to allow it before you can actually use it because it is third party. Um, we're going to go down here to page five so we can look at what we're going to get. We are going to get alchemist tools which uses wisdom or intelligence. We are going to get Tinker's Tools, which uses intelligence. We are going to get Smith's Tools, or Blacksmith's Tools, which uses strength. We're going to get the Arcana Skill, which uses intelligence. We're going to get Calligraphy Supplies for scroll scribing, which is intelligence. We are going to get jewelry crafting stuff, which uses dexterity. And we're going to get wand and wood carving stuff with wood carver's tools, which both use dexterity as well. Um, that's the amount of stuff we're going to get. Um, rune carving, I don't know if we're going to be able to get because the tool varies. So it depends on what your DM says. But we're going to have pretty good intelligence, so that's going to be good there. We're not getting poison craft, we're not getting leather working, we're not getting engineering, and we're not getting cooking. Um, it's less crafting than my original build that I did as a dwarf, but this one we're going to go fighter and we're going to be a kinku. So let's look at that. So we are going to be a kinku, and these are the books that I have enabled. We're not going to be doing a lot of customizing with the race like we did last time with the with the mountain dwarf where we got rid of just about everything um so we're going to choose that we are going to be medium instead of small this lets us use two-handed weapons if we want uh because small creatures in most cases cannot use heavy weapons um what we're looking at here is expert duplication so when you copy writing or craft work produced by yourself or someone else, you have advantage on any ability checks you make to produce an exact duplicate, which I think is pretty cool. Um, we're going to get Kenku Recall. We're going to get Arcana so that we can do our uh, enchanting. We're going to get Sleight of Hand. Um, that, in, in case we want to steal stuff. Um, if someone isn't willing to barter with you or for one reason or another, or you don't have enough money, maybe you can steal something. Uh, it's not the best idea in the world, but it's there in case you want it. So we're going to go look at our abilities real quick. We're going to use a 25, a 27 point buy. Uh, we are going to get strength up to 14. And we're going to get plus two to that uh, for our race. We're going to get a 12 dexterity because we do have some dex based skills um, in the jewelry, jewelers and wood carving tools. Um, Constitution is going to be a 14. We need good con because we are a fighter. If you want to drop this down to 12, you can and put dexterity at a 14. That is up to you. Intelligence, we're going to get to a 15, and we're going to get a plus one to that from our race. Wisdom and Charisma, we're going to keep at eight because we needed to bump up Dexterity. And that's really the only reason why those are eight. Um, it's not great, but they are our dump stats. We're going to go to Description. Uh, we get a language here, uh, which is pretty cool. But we are going to be a house agent of Kenneth, which is the human house of making. Originally, I was going to be a human instead of Kenku because they get a tool proficiency and they add the house of marking or the mark of making. Sorry. Uh, adds 1d4 to a role with artisans, tools, and arcana. But I think that the Kenku having an advantage to duplicate craft work is cooler. So we're going to go that route. But what's cool about this is we get our alchemist supplies and our tinker's tools through here. 
So that's why we are getting this. Um, and so now we're going to go to class and we are going to be a fighter. I've set the level to eight, uh, but technically we could be level six and be fine. Um, so proficiencies, I picked up athletics and perception. Perception is always good. Athletics is also good uh, because you become you can become large with this class and as a rune knight and you get advantage on athletics checks and stuff like that and strength checks for one minute while you are large. And you can do that a number of times per your proficiency bonus. Um, and we are going to be a rune knight. Uh, it, it gives you proficiency with crafts uh with not craft skills with uh smith's tools and then you also get rune carver which is what we want uh the fire rune lets you double your proficiency bonus with any tools that you use that you're proficient with you get that at level three it's one of the two runes that you can get at level seven you can pick another rune uh, and that unlocks the storm room. In the storm room, you have advantage on intelligence arcana checks, um, which is great because those don't use a tool. So, you know, it's it's always good to have. At level four, we're gonna get adroit crafter. Um, you it, the time it takes you to craft things using your the skills you're proficient with uh is halved so that's great and you don't lose components when you fail so if you already have an item like say you've already made a magical mace now you can make another one and I mean, if, you're, if your team is using lots of stuff or selling stuff that you've made, then what's cool is, like, if you make jewelry, then the time it takes for you to make a necklace is halved, and then you're going to get, after you've made one, you get advantage on it because you're a kinfu and you've already made it. Then at level, at level six, we're going to get skilled. And that's when we're going to pick up our calligraphers tools, our jewelry crafting stuff, and our wood carving stuff. Calligraphal, calligraphers supplies, sorry about that, lets you make scrolls. And the scrolls are what's going to help you enchant stuff. So until level six, you're probably not going to be enchanting a lot of things. Uh, you're probably just going to be gathering supplies for crafting your enchanted materials. So it's a good time to get all of your base stuff hammered out. All your, you know, weapons and armor. Just get all that masterwork and how you want it. And then at level six, you can start making your own scrolls and stuff like that. Now, because scrolls are a written object and are an object that use tools, you get uh, advantage on making them. If you've already got one or you've already made one as per the Kenku skill. Uh, so if you have one, you can just keep copying it and copying it and copying it. Uh, if you have a scroll. Um, and then at level eight, because I set us to level eight, I got tough. You could get care careful crafter if you want. I chose tough because you're going to be in combat. Careful Crafter lets you make all ability checks for crafting at advantage, which is really good if you're making something new, um, which, you know, that's, it's good if you're making some, something new, but because we're probably making things that we've already made, then it's not as good as the Kenku base skill or racial skill where you get advantage to du duplicate craft work. Um, that's just my opinion. So we're going to set ourselves back to tough for that. So let's look 
at what our character sheet looks like. So here's our character sheet. Um, we have advantage on our arcana checks. Uh, we have disadvantage with stealth because we are in heavy armor. I gave us two weapon fighting with a rapier and a scimitar. Um, just because basically I gave us two weapon fighting because we're going to be using you know, hopefully the same weapon, like maybe we could use two scimitars at the same time. You could go two-handed or great weapon fighting. That's up to you. I've just made a lot of characters that are like that in the past. So I wanted to do something a little new. Um, in our inventory, we're using our rapier and our scimitar. We also have our chain mail. So we're at a 16 in our AC but we can bump that up to an 18 once we get full plate. Um, and depending on what your full plate is made out of, or if it's enchanted, it gets, you know, bonuses to that. These numbers here are considering that your weapons are not upgraded in any way. These are just base weapons. So I feel like this is, I mean, this is just the base of what you have. This, this can't get much better unless your strength is better at this level. Which you could have gotten a plus two to strength instead of tough. Um, again, up to you. But this is how I would build a, a second crafter using the rune knight. Again, you get double your proficiency skills with tools that you already have if you select the flame rune you get advantage on uh Ar arcana checks if you do the storm rune at level seven you get advantage to duplicate craft skills uh craft work that you already have or have already made um as a kinku so i think this is a pretty solid build all around you're doing stuff out of combat and you're doing stuff in combat so this is a bit tankier than the than the cleric I built, but I hope you enjoyed it.